a new studio vlog. So this one, I think by the title, is going to be about me setting up my website and opening packages and stuff. I decorated the studio with some of my fall decorations because I wanted to take a picture for my website, which is currently live if you want to go check it out. I will leave a link in the description below. I have a shop open on there, so I'm very excited. So I do have some packages I need to open behind me right here and I wanted to open them on camera with you guys because I'm really excited. I got some products to test out to put on the website and I wanted to see how they turned out. So let's start with this first box from Sticker Mule. Ooh, how exciting guys, look. Okay, so I got some acrylic charms for the first time ever. They had them so cheap, so I had to check them out. If you guys are interested in getting your own, you can use my discount code in the description below to get $10 off. Ooh, I think they turned out pretty good. I don't like that it's not double-sided, but for the price, they were, like I said, pretty cheap. It seems like it's coated, so I don't think it will get scratched and they left a hole for you to make your own keychain and I see they did include some jump rings. It does say there's a protective film on it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to try these out and get these in the shop for you guys. Something else I got is these holographic moss stickers. Oh my gosh, they look good. And these were cheap too because it was a sample pack. I'm not sure if these stickers would sell in the shop so I didn't wanna get a whole bunch. So I got just a few in the sample pack to test out. And if they are popular, if they sell out, then I can definitely order more. But I definitely love how these turned out. So it's an all over holographic, not just white areas. And they're on high quality um, vinyl. And these are really thick and sturdy. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm definitely keeping one for myself. I think what I'm gonna do, I think this might fit in my sticker pack design. So let me grab one and see if that fits. So here is my sticker pack design. So I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna take the stickers out and see if this bigger sticker will fit in. I hope so. Yes, perfect. So this fits perfect in my sticker pack, so I will just do a different title along the top and I will package these like this. So once I get these two things in the shop, these will be in limited quantities of 10. So you'll definitely wanna go over and grab one before they get sold out. And just because I'm not sure if I will reorder them again. This looks like a package from Amazon. So this is burnt umber tissue paper, which I thought would be perfect for any fall orders or Halloween orders. And I think I would like to do packaging based on the theme or the month. So this will be my fall Halloween tissue paper. So this looks like the keychain stuff I ordered to make my keychains. You couldn't really buy a small quantity, um, so I got a bigger set. So these will be the keychains that I use to go on the acrylic charms. 
and I've never done jewelry before. So this will be something new to try out. Then I got this confetti to put in my orders because I thought it would just be a nice little touch of happiness I can add. Oh, it came in such a nice little box. I like this box. Ooh, and here's the craft envelopes that I'm going to put my fall orders in. These are... Oh my gosh, where's the size? These are A9 size, which I think is like a 6 by 8. It's a peel and self-stick, self-sealing envelope, which is perfect. And there's quite a bit here. I think it was like 150. So it should definitely last. The colors definitely come out richer on the semi-gloss rather than the matte. Let me get the matte so I can show you. So here's the difference. This one is the matte, premium matte paper, 230 GSM. This is the photo semi-gloss at 260 GSM. So you can see the colors are darker in here and it has just tiny bit of sheen, not a lot, which I like. Ooh, it's kind of hard to decide. I don't necessarily know if they're different enough to list both on my shop, so I might just pick one.
went to Michael's 20 minutes before closing because I didn't know they changed their hours, but whatever. Literally running through the store at one point <laughs> to get stuff to take some photos for my website. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have already seen this stuff. So if you guys want to go follow me over there, you'll be able to get um, updated stuff as it happens rather than waiting for me to record it on YouTube and post it. Okay, so quick little Michaels haul. I found this cute patterned wood backdrop paper. Um, I got a couple sheets of this. I was trying to find like a pad of fall papers, but they didn't have any. They, I think they already moved them out into, cause there was a bunch of Halloween pads already. So I found this over in the individual paper section. So I thought this was so pretty. So I could do a big layout as the bottom. Then I got these, it's called Natural Black Bearded barley this little fake bouquet here that was very folly everything was like 40 percent off so so that was a good deal i grabbed some twine which um i am gonna use this not only for some photographs but for wrapping some packages the star of the show this pretty brown journal and use my stickers and stuff or I'll use them on the cover so I'm excited to take some photos so I definitely have to do that to put on the website my very first order that came from my friend Kat. She wanted a hollow moss sticker and a fall nature sticker. It's a funny story because she actually um, purchased this through the site before it was officially live, but it, everything worked out so that's great. So I'm gonna package this up and get it out to her. And hopefully in the next vlog, I will be packing orders. So if you guys wanna go check out my shop, I would really appreciate that. to go and I will just address this and take it to the post office to send out. So I wanted to just quickly go over the products that I have in my shop in case you were curious. I have framed prints of I Love Fall most of all. This is an 8 by 10 and an 8 by 10 frame and this wood is one of my favorite frames so this is one that I'm gonna hang on my wall and I just love it so much. I also offer prints that are unframed on semi-gloss paper in several different sizes. I have two print packs. I have a couple handmade clay pins, two sticker packs for fall goodies and fall nature, 
collections and a holographic moss sticker along with a maple leaf acrylic keychain and then last but not least I have my sticker sheets in the fall goodies and the fall nature collection so I hope you guys like these products and go check out my site and let me know what you think I'd really appreciate it also I hope you enjoyed this vlog so just let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one bye